Hey guys, it's Cassie, so I don't want to spend a whole ton of time on this introduction like I normally do. I have a shoulder workout for you. A lot of these exercises are just um, body weight, but I do use a pull-up bar and some dumbbells, which are definitely helpful. Um, so yeah, if you have those, then go get them, get on some workout attire, put your hair up. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoy this little short workout. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And also check out my personal channel if you haven't already and subscribe to that. It will be in the description below. I post just random videos that don't have to do with health and fitness. And I feel like you guys could just get to know me a little better on that channel too. So, let's get to it. Okay, so all you're going to need is some dumbbells. I'm using... 10 and 15 pound weights, but you might need to go a little lighter or heavier depending on how strong your shoulders are. So, um, let's get started. The first exercise you've probably seen, they're just shoulder flies. So I'm using these 10 pound weights right here. And you just bring them up straight and right back down. And go right to the side, up 90 degrees, go back down. And repeat this. Um, I'd say about 10 reps, do three to four sets of 10. The next exercises are similar, they're shoulder flies, but this time I'm using 15 pounds and you're gonna keep your arms bent at 90 degrees, just like this. So you're going to keep them bent, and you can lean forward a little bit, keep your back straight, and go up and back down. And do 10 reps of these as well. Ten to twelve reps is a really good um, way to tone up muscle if you want to build, like, just bulk up and build a lot of strength. Then you do five to eight reps. And then if you want to just um, stay fit, basically, then you do 15 to 20 reps. But we're toning up, so about eight to 12 is a good thing. I usually do 10 though. using 15s as well. It's a shoulder press. So here I'll go down a little bit so you can see me more. And you just bring it here and up and together. So you can bring it up, put it together, back down. And do 10 to 12 of these as well. I'd say to do about three to four sets of each of these exercises. forward shoulder flies. I'm just using one weight of 15, but you can use two weights and do it with both your hands. But basically, you're just going to bring it right in front of you and back down. And don't go up past 90 degrees to the ground. Go up here, back down. You don't want to hurt anything. And I'm going to do actually 12 of these because this is a pretty light weight for this. But you want to do it really slow, so you really get that muscle and focus on it. And you don't want to do these type of exercises super fast, because it doesn't really do anything. So I like doing this. I'm going to use 10 pounds. I'd rather have 5 or 8 pounds actually. They're, it's a little bit better if you do it that way, but I don't have those weights right now, so I'm going to have to do it a little bit slower than normal. This exercise is actually supposed to be faster, but basically you just hold them in both hands and keep your back straight and just run in place only with your arms though. And what you want to do is not swing your arms to the sides like that. That's not correct running form. You want to bring them forward 
and back and make sure your arms are about 90 degrees and just like that. And this builds up so much shoulder strength. I'm already like dead here. <laughs> but um, it's a little bit better with, I'd say eight pounders. Um, it can go a little bit faster and do more. So it really, really tones up your shoulders, but this is always good too. I'm using 15s. Um, it's another type of shoulder press, but it's only one arm at a time. And instead of having your arms this way, give them this way. So you can kind of just set the weight down almost on your shoulder. One arm at a time, go up, go up. And do 10 to 12 on each arm. any weights in them they're just body weight so the first one is you just put your arms straight up and you move them in little circles do this for two three minutes you will be burning I swear this is this is death this is really death right here and if you want I'm just doing forward circles but you can do you know a minute forward minute back go backwards if you want to make it even harder, you can point your fingers down and go in even bigger circles. Oh, I'm already feeling it. Woo! Ah! Eee. Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh, I love the pain, but I it's like, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> completely sure but it's something that it just looks stupid like you're like how would that ever work your shoulders like that's dumb especially without weight you can use weight on this actually but I'm not going to so I think it's actually intense enough without it so you're gonna bring your elbows together and your fingers together they're not gonna separate okay you gotta keep them together now you're just gonna go from here all the way up, put your elbows about where your mouth or nose is, go back down, up, down, and never separate your elbows or fingers, and you can go a little fast up, slow down, fast up, slow down, and after doing about 30 or 50 of these, oh, you're going to be burning. Okay, so for these you want to do... I'd say at least sets of 50. Um, if you're adding weight, depending on how much the weight is, obviously you can do less. But I, you know, I usually do sets of 50 when I do these, maybe even more. And this is something so easy that you could do like anytime. You could just be sitting watching TV and like, hmm, I want to get toned shoulders. And you could do a set of 50 and then be like, okay, 10 minutes later, do it again. It's something that will actually, like, I can feel it in my shoulders so much. And it really, really helps and works. And it's something so simple. So, like, you should do it. That's an exercise you could do on the toilet. While you're eating, in class, in the shower, before bed. Not when you wake up. While you're watching Netflix. While you're watching the news. While you're watching SpongeBob. like 
pull-ups and push-ups definitely work your shoulders. Planks, planks especially, mm -mm -mm. working those shoulders. Um, those are some other ideas, but I just didn't show them in this video because I didn't want to make it way, way, way too long. It's probably already long because I talk so much and I'm just, I'm just annoying. It just, it just happens. So I hope you guys enjoyed and you're going to try out all these exercises. They really, really help. Like, I can feel them already. And I only did one set of each right now just to show you. I'm going to finish off the workout right now. But, like, dang, even after one set, I can really feel these. So if you do even two or three sets, like, it's going to hurt. You can do it, though. And especially if you're a beginner, you can start with just one or two sets of each. But try and get up to three or four. That's what I recommend. And that's what will help you gain the most muscle, but tone it down as well. Um, so give this a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel as well as my personal channel that I'll link down below. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any video requests, leave them down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can you guys lift your arms? <laughs>